And welcome back to the Flow Sports Fix on this Thursday evening. It's time to talk to the stat man about the AFL and games that may or may not go ahead, stat man. Thanks, Clayton. Yes, let's have a look at the AFL matches scheduled for this week. Uh, not sure if they'll go ahead in this sort of manner, uh, particularly the games planned in Victoria. But at this stage, what, what I know at this point is that the games in Melbourne, other than the Adelaide Crows-Richmond game, are likely to go ahead in front of no crowds, which is a terrible shame for Friday night. And I'll explain why in a moment. But the Richmond-Adelaide clash uh, will likely go to Sydney on the Sunday. Uh, That could change again, depending on what happens with uh, uh, the Melbourne player who visited a T1 uh, site, which means he needs to isolate for 14 days. The players there are getting tested. My goodness, the... uh, Situation with COVID in Victoria has certainly thrown up a few, uh, well, headlines and handballs, hasn't it? But look, uh, let's have a look at the games pretty much as scheduled with what we know in front of us. The Western Bulldogs in Melbourne, Friday night. This would have seen a big crowd get to Marvel Stadium, I'm sure, with the Western Bulldogs hosting the clash. It's one versus two on the ladder. It is uh, probably the game of the year. It's a game I'm looking forward to watching, and unfortunately, there will be no crowd for it. But uh, the Western Bulldogs, excellent last week. They've been brilliant most of the year. Melbourne didn't do much wrong to lose to the Adelaide Crows. You could say that they were a trifle unlucky, in fact. But uh, regardless, um, this will be a beauty. Both teams in pretty good nick. Melbourne may be just off the boil in the last fortnight. And for that reason and that reason alone, I'm going to go with the Western Bulldogs in this one, who I reckon are up and firing right now. They are the top dogs right now. Marcus Bontempelli is just outstanding. Imagine if we get that matchup, Bontempelli versus Petrarca. I hope we do for at least 10 minutes. That's worth the, the price of admission, which you can't get in anyway, but it'd be worth uh, the price of the electricity to your TV just to turn that on. So uh, let's hope these two sides turn it on and give us a good show on Friday night. Saturday, now, uh, at the MCG, Collingwood taking on Geelong. This will be bizarre. These two sides pull big crowds. Traditionally, there'll be no one there at the MCG to watch this. Plenty tuning in on TV, I'm sure. And Geelong start red-hot favourites. And they will pummel Collingwood at the moment, who are a rabble. Should have won last week against a very, very poor Port Adelaide. Uh, couldn't get it done. They won't win against the Cats. And uh, we will move on. The Brisbane Lions, there'll be a crowd for this one at the Gabba. Probably a big crowd too, uh, 25 30,000 watching them take on the GWS Giants, who've been in excellent form over the last month. Leon Cameron, almost coach of the year with what he's been able to pull together out of the injury-ravaged Giants. But uh, this is a, a challenge of a different quality in the Brisbane Lions. They're flying right now, the Lions, and they will win this uh, four or five goals in it, I think. Uh, St Kilda taking on North Melbourne at Marvel. Again, no crowds here. Um, not sure what sort of crowd this game would have pulled anyway at the moment because St Kilda have been pitiful and North Melbourne haven't been much better. So, uh, well, when you look at the ladder, it's um, it's a game that doesn't mean a heck of a lot. But for both clubs, I mean, it's, uh, it's the end of the road, really, for both clubs here. St Kilda start red-hot favourites, but I'm telling you right now, North Melbourne will win this game. They have been much better than St Kilda over the last three weeks. St Kilda have no idea where they are at the moment. Um, They are uh, a bigger rabble than Collingwood right now. And I think North Melbourne get the job done in this game in an upset. Uh, The Gold Coast Suns at TIO Stadium. They were scheduled to play the Hawks. Not happening at TIO. We know that. Not sure where it will be played or if it will be played yet. Um, It could be moved to next week with both teams, I think, having similar buys. So uh, they could give them a buy this week and... uh, Uh, come back again next week. We're not entirely sure yet. That'll be resolved. If it is played this week, uh, a lot will depend on the venue. Uh, I believe if this game is played at uh, Metricon instead of CIO Stadium, given that it is the Suns' home game, then I would expect the Suns to get the job done against the lowly Hawks. Uh, The West Coast Eagles will host Essendon in the West. Uh, Essendon got out of Dodge on Wednesday, so... Uh, They've been going through their testing, uh, got out a little bit early, so uh, they will play this game at Optus Stadium and the West Coast Eagles. We know what sort of beast they are on their home deck. They will get the job done here against the Bombers, who've been pretty good, but uh, the Eagles uh, are just a different proposition on their home ground and should win comfortably. Richmond taking on the Adelaide Crows. Tom Lynch out of the Richmond side. There's hope that Trent Cotchin 
and a couple of others, Prestia included, may come in for the Tigers. But this game will now not be played in Melbourne at the MCG. It's expected that this game will be played in Sydney, believe it or not, because of the border restrictions the South Australian government have imposed on Victoria, meaning the Crows, if they went into Melbourne, wouldn't be able to get back out. So it looks as though at this stage that the game will be played on Sunday at Giants Stadium in Western Sydney. Um, Funnily enough, these two clubs have never played there. Um, So I'm not sure what we can take out of that. What we do know is that both sides have had some, um, well, poor games on that stadium against the Giants of recent times. I'm not sure um, who the ground would suit, to be honest. But uh, at this stage, the Crows, a brilliant win against Melbourne last week. There'll be some sore young bodies out of that game. And I just think Richmond, if they get a couple back, should win. They need to win if they want to keep their... Um, well, keep in touch with the top eight. At the moment, Richmond, can you believe it, sitting ninth on the ladder and out of the top eight. Moving on, the Sydney Swans taking on Carlton. Again, Carlton got out of dodge. This will be at the SCG on Sunday afternoon. The Sydney Swans uh, did everything but win against the Fremantle Dockers in the West last week. It's a long, long trip to the West, though, and traditionally teams from Sydney that come back from Western Australia... They don't necessarily play at the peak of their powers the following week, and they'll have to because Carlton have had their foot on the till for a while. I'm, I'm tell you right now, uh, Carlton are a big chance to win this game. Uh, I'm going to tip Sydney just, but uh, you get Carlton at the line here if you're a betting man, and you'd be taking whatever points they offer because there won't be much in this one. And we finish off at the Adelaide Oval on Sunday in the twilight slot, Port Adelaide taking on Fremantle. Port Adelaide were just short of awful last week. Uh, They managed to get the job done, a win by a point, but gee whiz, uh, that was a terrible game of football on their behalf. They haven't been in really good form for a little while now. They've showed patches of it in the showdown against the Crows. That's probably the last bit of really solid form we've seen out of the power. Uh, Fremantle had a thrilling win last week uh, against Sydney in the West, but Again, a travelling game for the Dockers. They are a different proposition at Optus Stadium as they are away from home. I think Port Adelaide will get it together um, on their home deck in front of their home fans. I'm sure they'll get it together. They've put Collingwood behind them now, and uh, hopefully they can focus back on the footy itself again rather than Guernseys and jumpers and comments between presidents. And I think they'll win this game by two or three goals. So uh, that's my tips for this week. Who knows where the AFL fixtures will end up by game uh, game time on Friday night. Uh, as it sits right now, that's where we'll leave it. Back to you, Clayton. Thanks, Jace. We're keeping our fingers crossed on those games and that your selections might be the right ones too. Uh, more on the Sports Fix with the World Game and Ellis Gellios coming up next.